Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I want to take a talk about Vivek Ramaswamy, and I want to say Happy Thanksgiving to you, and I want to talk about the things I am thankful for because of Vivek Ramaswamy. Uh, so before I uh, get Vivek Ramaswamy specific, I'm just going to take a minute and just say a general uh, Happy Thanksgiving to you, uh, and I just want to share the things that I'm thankful for uh, at the macro level, at the highest level of my life. I am very thankful for God. I'm incredibly blessed to have a, um, I'm incredibly blessed to have a God who loves me, and I love that God, and I don't take that for granted. Uh, I am incredibly blessed, uh, incredibly thankful for my family, uh, and how blessed uh, the members of my family are. Uh, we, we, you know, we do, uh, we are blessed to have, you know, food, shelter, and many luxuries. And uh, even in, in different, even in a time where, even in a challenging year, we, we still are incredibly blessed and are in positions to help others, uh, which is exciting, you know? And friends, I'm very thankful for my friends that I still have people who call when I, you know, pick up what I call, uh, get together and, uh, you know, um, spend time doing activities together, share meals with, I'm incredibly blessed for all of those things, um, and and I I am blessed. Um, it has been a challenging year, you know, no no question, but it's very important that we are content with what you know God gives us. And I struggle with that. I will I will admit I definitely struggle with that, and I'm, I'm working on it. And if you could pray for me in the year to come, I'm going to try to. That would be a blessing, and I'm I'm tr t continuing to work on my contentment. What are the things that I am thankful for in perspective to Vivek Ramaswamy? So a lot. Uh, actually, uh, Vivek Ramaswamy is really uh, an incredible source of joy in this year. So one, uh, this is 2023. This is the year before our presidential election. And the year before the presidential election, that's where it really kicks off. That's where it starts. You know, we've already had debates. And um, and Vivek Ramaswamy has made this a very exciting uh, political season. And I, I, let's make no mistake, I really love the political season. And what do I mean by that? Well, you know, a lot of people spend time watching football, you know, watching soccer, watching baseball, watching basketball. I'm going to spend five minutes on any of those. Like, this is the exciting season to me. And, and it has been exciting because of Vivek Ramaswamy. So let's... Let's talk about specifically things I'm really thankful for. One, what an incredible year for the Republicans. Uh, and no one would, you, if you had told anybody that it was going to work out like this, nobody could have predicted this. So what has happened for the Republicans this year? Well, one, the Republicans are, at the um, candidate level are presenting extremely well. We have a deep bench, right? Like we have, you know, we have candidates that are very real and are, and are, absolutely um, could have uh, actually still, right? Um, Vivek Ramaswamy, an amazing candidate. Nikki Haley. Uh, I would have said Tim Scott uh, and, until he dropped out. But we had candidates who were in the mix, who were, who were fighting for the crown, right? And, um, and we had, and we displayed to the world that we had a very deep bench, right? And that's not the case on the Democrat side. It is a wasteland. It is a ghost town over there. They don't really have, really have any talent. Um, and so I'm thankful for what a deep bench the Republicans have displayed, right? The other thing is the debates. I'm so thankful for the debates, right? And, uh, and it shows that the Republicans are still being honest, are still actually supporting um, uh, free communication, open communication. And freedom of speech, right? All, all freedom of speech has been shut down, so that uh, no one, so that no one can hear a good candidate, you know, talk about good ideas on the Democrat side. The Democrats literally shut down all debate for the Democrat Party. That is, that is apples bananas. That is apples bananas. That's just what you know, like. Uh, it's astounding that they could do that, right? And so thank goodness that the Republicans still are in a position where we have freedom of speech and we're not using to and we're not willing to use every single institution to silence every candidate except for the establishment candidate within our party, right? 
In fact, that's the next thing I'm incredibly thankful for is, and this, this is a boy, if there is like, in my, in my church, we just went through uh, arguments on, you know, the proof of God, teleological arguments, moral arguments, right? Um, the, um, cosmological arguments uh, for the proof of God. If there's ever been proof of God that's ever existed, it's one year of silence from uh, President Donald Trump and not having him hear him flap his maw in those debates and actually have space for people to have real debates, to discuss real topics without his overbearing, you know, just yammery, right? Like, you know, it's, it's just, it's a beautiful thing. It's really... And, and honestly, I am so thankful for it because I think with Donald Trump not doing what he could, what he could do in 2016, which was show up on a debate floor and mop the floor with everyone, I feel bad for him personally that he's completely lost that ability to debate anyone, to even have a card conversation anymore. Um, but it was really, it was a massive gift to Vivek Ramaswamy. It allowed people to see Vivek Ramaswamy, see his brilliance, his, care, his actual genuine care for this nation. Uh, it was really, it was really something special, really something incredible, right? And, um, and I am incredibly thankful for a year of silence from Donald Trump. And boy, oh boy, again, like, you know, you want to talk about proof of God. That, that is just a sweet, sweet luxury. And, you know, to not, to, uh, you know, and uh, to not have to hear Donald Trump through another, through all these debates, you know, because there would, it would have made, you know, as contentious as they were, they would have been, it would have been far, far worse uh, with Donald Trump in the room. Um, the other thing is uh, just the representation on the, on the Republican side. Who would have thought that there would be multiple uh, people of color, right? There, uh, there would be, you know, every gender would be, um, would be represented, um, and that also we would get a series of debates to hear this diverse group of candidates debate, right, in a space where they all could debate, because where we're all being shouted down by, you know, one repugnant fool. Right, uh, I, boy, I'm so thankful for the the silence of Donald Trump, and the the debates are, and I, and I would say, I think that's what I'm thankful for most is just the debates. They've been able to prove so many things to Americans about the Republican Party, and it's it's really special. And also, just last, just the complete ineptitude and lack of courage on the part of Donald Trump. He's really been soundly defeated by himself, which is you know, which is fantastic. And uh, so those are the things I'm faithful, thankful for in context to Vivek Ramaswamy. Every single word you just heard is my humble opinion. What's important is when I get to hear your humble opinion. When you get in the comments and send your traffic. Please consider like subscribing and have a wonderful millennium.